Hello, it is Monday, January 10th, 2022. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Monday puzzle, so we're heading into the week, starting the work week with nice, gentle Monday crossword, which is a good way to ease into things without taxing ourselves too much. Um, and I would like to thank a few people for helping support this channel. So today's edition of the Daily Solve is brought to you by Funny JK, Calixto Navarro, and as always, the inestimable Hood Monster. So thank you to the three of them, benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. If you'd like to um, join their ranks as a benefactor, that will get you both that recognition as well as the exclusive mug. Don't let the the Let's Check the Crosses mug. You can find that at patreon.com slash daily solve. But of course, contributing at any level gets you access to the wealth of bonus videos as well as the extra channel, the extra chat channel on the Daily Solve Discord chat server. Link to that as well is in the description field underneath the video. Quite a few bonus videos so far this year. We're starting a new year with high, high number of bonus video solves on the Patreon campaign. Anyway, quickly, let's discuss a few things about yesterday's puzzle. And this, so uh, if you want to avoid spoilers, if you've not solved yesterday's Sunday crossword, then um, I am probably going to show that on screen in a moment, and I'll let you know when I'm about to do that so you can skip forward a bit. Uh, but um, maybe I'll put I'll put a timestamp maybe as well on the, on the description. But it's because some people pointed out some additional properties of that theme that I hadn't noticed. But first, let's just talk about a couple of ordinary clues. Um, Kathy Swope explains that CERN, C-E-R-N, the uh, research laboratory that was referenced in yesterday's crossword, is from the acronym for the French, Conseil Européen pour la Recherche Nucléaire. English translation is the European Council for Nuclear Research. CERN was founded in 1952 with the mandate of establishing world-class fundamental physics research. And Kathy also explains that Trico fabric, T-R-I-C-O-T, is a knit material that is woven on a flatbed knitting machine. The Trico weave creates a zigzag effect on the front of the fabric and a crosswise rib on the back. And Victoria Rojishka says, I think I've read somewhere that in vitro means in glass and means outside of a living organism. And in vivo is the opposite of that, in a living organism. And yes, that's exactly right on all counts, in vitro versus in vivo. Um, and so here, now I'm going to read a couple things that about the theme. I think actually one of these I did maybe mention, but I'll reiterate it in case I didn't mention obviously enough. So skip ahead a bit if you would like to not see yesterday's crossword grid now. Okay, so here's the fully solved um, Sunday crossword grid. And Henry Chandler said, to me, the shape in the middle looks like a tree with all the different types of apples inside. So if you remember yesterday's uh, crossword, the theme had the apple varieties, Jazz, Fuji, Gala, Empires, and uh, Empire and Rome apples. And um, those are all, as Henry points out, all types of apples have at least one letter directly above Newton's head. And I think I maybe mentioned that yesterday, but perhaps I didn't draw enough attention to it because yes, that's a very nice property of, of this theme. And I suppose, yes, I can see how this shape in the middle might look like a tree. I mean, there's certainly something going on there. And the more remarkable thing, well, a few things I didn't notice that are great. One is a little more subtle. Bradley said, there were more answers than you noticed related to the theme related to gravity and apples falling. The four long down answers were weighty matter, uh, come on down, free fallen, and force of nature. I can't believe I completely uh, missed out on those. That was, uh, well, missed, missed observing their relationship to the theme. That's great. And then the even more incredible thing that I completely missed is observed by Matt Rhodes, who says, Reading down the center of the grid, we can see Icarus loses to Newton. So there we go. We had Icarus, who is referenced as hardly a lover of hot wings, that incredible clue. And perhaps the cleverness of that clue blinded me to the thematic presence of Icarus, who, of course, lost a battle to 
the force of gravity, as defined by Isaac Newton. So Icarus loses to Newton. That's fantastic. So this theme that I already already appreciated for being fairly densely, um, oh, actually sort of ornate, wasn't there a, uh, wasn't ornate a word in this crossword somewhere? Anyway, uh, fairly ornate and densely packed theme, even more so than I thought. So thank you to the several commenters who observed that and helped me to even more fully appreciate this impressive theme. All right, back to today's puzzle, and why don't we solve it? This is, of course, a Monday puzzle constructed by Lynn Lempel, and Lynn is a quite a veteran crossword constructor for the New York, New York Times and other publications. She's done nearly 100 New York Times, New York Times crosswords, I believe, so I don't know don't know how the um, New York Times Crossword Constructor Hall of Fame looks in terms of the um, most prolific constructors, but she must be up there, I would think. And this crossword was, of course, edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's get going. Okay. Police officers, probably cops, pretty should be straightforward on a Monday. Activity with a lotus position would be yoga. Word before actor and actress at the Oscars would be the word best. A tie score could be even, but let's check the crosses on that to be sure. U.S. Public Health Agency. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's not even. I would assume this to be the CDC, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. Uh, so let's look at some more crosses. Common herb and pizza could be oregano. A perennial embarrassment for teens, par parents, I suppose. And like my, most desserts are sweet. Ah, there we go. So a tie score is a draw. There we go. And where to get one's kicks, and kicks is capitalized, and we have probably unnecessarily, but helpfully for a Monday, an easy puzzle on a Monday, we have a pun indicator, the question mark. So that's letting us know to think of kicks, not as get one's kicks, in other words, enjoy oneself, but rather the brand name kicks, which you get in the cereal I was going to say aisle, but the cereal area? I'm actually not sure. Let's check the crosses here. New Haven alma mater of five presidents. That would be Yale University in New Haven, Connecticut. Sphere is an orb. Straightforward enough. Melted chocolate, e.g., I suppose is goo. And to boot would be as well. So, oh, cereal bowl. Okay. Sorry, I, I thought where to get one's kicks, and I assumed it meant where to obtain them, where to buy them, but uh, where to, I don't know, have them in the morning, I suppose. So emerged as an issue would be a rose. A story about Zeus or Hera, say. It could be a myth, Greek myth. And to have on is to wear, and let's just look at the crosses as we fill that in. So a luxury German car maker is, of course, BMW. A blight on the landscape would be an eyesore. Uh, to fix one's gaze on would be to stare at. Sensations at, am at amusement parks would be thrills. Let's just look at the cross of what we filled in. Uh, here we have Sri Lanka. Uh, straightforward enough. To dig in at dinner is to eat. Birds in a gaggle are geese. So there's a gaggle of geese that could have fit into our collective noun uh, animal theme of a week or so ago. A nincompoop uh, is an ass. Jeans or jodhpurs are both sorts of pants, and of, well, this is an or clue, so the answer is singular, but of course pants we always refer to in a sort of plural way in English anyway. I guess not always, but generally speaking. Oops, excuse me. Sorry, I had a sudden sneeze come on. Okay, a chum is a pal, Ant-Man, the Paul Rudd superhero film, and a forlorn directionless type, a lost soul, I would think. Under the weather could be ill or sick. Um, the wonderful Wizard of Oz writer is Frank uh, Baum, so B-A-U-M. A place for a ship's captain is the helm. Song Singer-songwriter nicknamed Piano Man would be Billy Joel. And a minty drink at Churchill Downs. This is um, a horse racing venue, I believe. A mint julep is often served in that sort of environment. A ruthless ruler is a tyrant, and let's just look at the cross here. In the countryside, indeed, rural sounds correct there. 
And here we have some hotel and restaurant staffers, could be valets, who, at least in, in U.S. English, will park your car for you. Gloomy atmosphere is a, you could have a pall, a pall has been cast over the room, a gloomy atmosphere. Capital insiders informally, politicians or polls. And of course, the informally is cluing us into that. Letter before iota would be uh, theta. And many family cars are sedans, um, mid-sized cars with four doors as opposed to a coupe with two. An emptiness is a void. And a figure skating jump is an axle. And here's my, this is my, this word is one of my banes here. And I, I always, always second guess myself as to whether it's spelled like this or like this, the order of the L and the E. I don't know why, but with this particular word, it doesn't happen to me with an axle of a car, for instance, a, a axle on which wheels are positioned, but it does always happen to me with a figure skating jump. Uh, and so we can look at 45 across and we see street blank acceptance among peers is street cred. And that confirms it. And I think, I think the reason I, I do this is because they're spelled differently, but then I think I always double check it and think, oh, but am I just, do I just think they should be spelled differently because they, they have different meanings? Perhaps they're, perhaps they're spelled identically, but no, they're, this, don't know why I always do that. Anyway, survey of election day voters would be an exit poll. And discs on hi-fis would be um, LPs, long playing records. One of 435 in D.C., so D.C., District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., the capital of the United States, and the seat of the legislature. And so this is a representative, a member of the House of Congress, the lower House of Congress. Uh, grand speech making is oration. To reveal inadvertently is to let on to, I suppose, or... Let's slip, actually, a bet is more likely, but let's check the, um, let's check the, um, cross. So one across in Manhattan for short. Cops in Manhattan for short. The NYPD. So I suppose this isn't oration, but rather oratory. There we go. And we get NYPD, the New York Police Department, the cops in Manhattan for short. A finale, fitting uh, final down clue in this puzzle. The last clue in the puzzle is the end. And here we have blank Gobra, Ireland forever. Aaron Gobra, I'm very sorry if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly. I know the phrase, but I probably am not saying it very well. Leonard, who wrote the song Hallelujah, would be the singer-songwriter Leonard Cohen. And to categorize simplistically would be to pigeonhole, to put something in an obvious category, maybe overly simplistically. Um, George or Louis or Louis to William and Kate, boy, I actually don't even know how the, how the royal prince baby's name is pronounced. Is it Louis or Louis? I feel sort of as though I should know that, but I'm actually not sure now that I see it. Um, anyway, a son, of course, and it's an or clue. So, uh, again, this will be a singular answer, even though we have two examples in the clue and derisive cries from the audience are hoots. The late Alex Trebek, for one, uh, yes, the late Alex Trebek, the great longtime host of Jeopardy. And a barbecue skewer would be a spit. Pharmacist, philanthropist, Lily, this would be Eli Lilly, namesake of the um, pharmaceuticals company. And here we have a distinct disparity, would be a gap, disparity between two things, a gap between them. Marine animals with flippers are, of course, seals. And Xeroxes, for example, are copies. A source for maple syrup would be tree sap. And mushroom parts could be caps, the caps of mushrooms. Um, greener energy source. Uh, coal, perhaps? What is this? Noted, oh no, coal, clean coal, I see. Noted stretch of time is an era, and so... I suppose this must not be... The letter before iota must not be theta. So what, let's check some more crosses, sorry. Oh no, sorry, not green call, sorry. I, clean call, so it is theta, right. Okay, so greener energy source as opposed to green energy source here. Um, and uh, places among the troops as a journalist. 
Oh, I see. Places among the troops. So in this case, this is places as a verb. So we are placing a journalist among the troops. We are embedding a journalist, or in this case, places embeds. Okay, got away is escaped. Cold and damp as a basement. I don't know, dank perhaps? An antlered animal is an elk. I think elk came up recently as well. Diabolical is evil. And I'm, I'm doing this thing I often do when I'm finishing off a crossword, which is I sort of follow the most recent letter I, letter I put in and switch the across and down to sort of progressively shrink in on the remaining leftover space. Anyway, evil and then burglary, e.g. is a break in. A jab is a poke. And here we're really at the end. So neighbor of Ukraine, once part of the USSR, would be Moldova. And let's just look at the crosses just to make completely certain. Somewhat informally would be sorta, so an informal, informal way to say somewhat. And organization promoting oral health would be, I guess, the American Dental Association, the ADA. And there's the puzzle. So what was the theme of today's puzzle? I'm actually not sure. Um... Oh, I suppose rhyming. We have cereal bowl, Billy Joel, exit poll, clean coal, and pigeonhole. So, so we're we're all of these, uh, all of these answers rhyme with one another. Does that? Is there anything else going on vertically? I don't think so. These are the, these are our long answers, and the longer answers do tend to be. Oh, did I see lost soul? They do tend to be the theme answers, although, of course, that is often not the case as well. Um, is there anything we didn't see? This was a relatively straightforward solve, so I wonder if there are any, any answers we simply didn't even notice. Fix one. Yeah, we did see that. I uh, didn't see this. Carrier based at Ben Gurion Airport. That's the, the um, Israel flag carrier, El Al, the airline. Uh, I think we actually may have seen everything else. I tried to check the crosses as I as I entered the clues, so we may actually be okay. So a very, I would say this was a particularly straightforward Monday puzzle. We've had a few Monday and Tuesday puzzles recently that I think have given people some more challenge than is maybe typical for a Monday or Tuesday. But I think this was this was an extremely smooth solving, solving uh, very straightforward puzzle. But we still got some. We still got some long, sort of interesting answers in there, like cereal bowl, well, all the ones that rhyme, cereal bowl, Billy Joel, lost soul, exit poll, clean coal, and pigeonhole. And actually, I wonder if this is also sort of a, a subtle reference to the Billy Joel song, We Didn't Start the Fire, that consists of a whole extended list of, of cultural references, and maybe it's sort of as though... As though this is, uh, you know, the the rhyming list of song lyrics that that are all packed together in that Billy Joel song. I'm not sure. It could be that I suspect that might be a subtle a subtle nod there, even if it's not the explicit theme. Because pretty sure the Billy Joel song doesn't include cereal bowl and these other these other clues. But anyway, uh, a fun a fun little very simple theme, a very straightforward, gentle, smooth solving crossword, certainly a nice way to ease into our Monday morning. So I hope you enjoyed that. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the solve. If you did, please do subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you'd like to chat with other folks who watch this series, you can head over to the Discord chat server, the Daily Solve Discord. There's a link in the description field underneath the video, and it's free for anybody to join. You do get an extra channel if you're a Patreon uh, backer, but you don't need to be in order to sign up for it. And um, it's a there's that uh, there's also that daily uh, Wordle channel in there in which people are posting their Wordle uh, little grids. If you've been playing along with that incredibly um, currently popular online word game, I have been as well. And um, oh, and yes, of course, if you're a Patreon subscriber, you also get access to all of those bonus videos. I recently put up the um, January New York Times monthly bonus puzzle. And I have also, I think I mentioned the other day, I have solved the most recent New York Times acrostic puzzle that's not up on the feed yet, but I will put it up soon. Um, 
I put up quite a few videos just in the first few days of the of the new month. So um, I thought maybe I would space them out a bit more so as not to um, not to weigh people down with too many bonus videos. But uh, again, as always, if you are a Patreon subscriber, do let me know if you have any suggestions or requests of what you'd like to see me solve. Anywhere, it's fine. You can leave a comment on Patreon, a video, Twitter, anywhere at all. It's completely fine. Anyway, that's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow for another relatively gentle themed puzzle, the Tuesday puzzle. I hope you join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Mm -hmm.